In this video, we're going to cover how to do a rotary center origin job. Currently, my paper size is 32 by 20. So I have some random text on there. The text needs to be in the middle, so I'm going to select it. You can either drag it over, or what's easier, just hit the letter P. Letter P will put whatever your graphic is in the middle of the paper. Um, go ahead and go to Print. Choose your, your device. In this case, I'm using Explorer. Go to Properties. And we need to go ahead and get to our paper tab and verify, first of all, that you have the right version. To use Center Origin, you need DV 3.51 or higher. If you don't, contact your distributor, download off the LaserPro USA website, or have us email it to you. Go ahead and select the rotary fixture. And now we have X in diameter as opposed to X and Y that we're used to. X usually represents width and Y height. It will be a little bit different here. With rotary, the 6 inches X is actually how tall the object is, and the diameter in this case will be 3. Again, just random values, don't really have a part to work with. You would want to go ahead and set up your material. Material is, it depends what power, what speed you want to use. Uh, it's purely up to the material and the wattage of laser you have, so I'm just going to have something. we use 150. Um, you may want to go over and set your DPI up. If you're going to set your DPI to other than 500, just go pick whichever one you want to use. Once you're set, go to Advance. I'm going to choose center. I'm not going to use the uh, use star point. I'm not going to give it any X or Y location. I'm merely going to point my red dot to, to the center of where I want my graphic to be. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hit apply. If you don't hit apply and we hit cancel, we'll lose our settings. Um, and we're not ready to print yet. So I do want to hit apply and then hit cancel. Now my paper size is a 32 by 20, which does not match my object. So we need to get that paper to be the same as the driver. So we'll go to layout, page setup. And from here, we'll go ahead and just use set from printer. It's going to change the 32 by 20 to whatever that 6 by 3 inch diameter turns out to be, which in this case is 6 by 9.4252. Hit OK. Now my text is facing the wrong way because remember, the left side is where the uh, end of the rotary fixture is, so it's usually the top of our part. So I can go ahead and I'm going to rotate my part because my top and bottom edges here um, don't really match what we're really doing. I'm going to be turning this, what we call left sideways, so the object's facing the left. I'm going to use a positive 90 degrees under my transformation and just rotate this. We'll go ahead and hit apply. And now it's facing the right way. Um, it doesn't really matter where the text is because we're using center. It could be pretty much anywhere on the paper. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in the middle by hitting the letter P just so it visually looks where I want. Now, the only thing you guys have to do is once your lasers turn off the rotary attachment in there, is point the red dot to the center of your object, whatever your, your object is in the graphic web. Your graphic will be, will be engraved wherever the center of that graphic area is. In other words, that little X right there will be engraved wherever. Of course, the X not being engraved, but the graphic will be engraved with its center point being wherever the red dot is pointing to on your object. And that's it. I know we went fast. Go ahead and rewind this, play it back, watch it a couple times. So once you understand it, go ahead and give it a shot.